Hey, welcome back friends. Time for a more story time. And we're still in the Little House books. We have two left. So today is second to the last. And we have Little House, Little Books, Winter Days in the Big Woods, adapted from Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House in the Prairie books. So here we go. Laura's House in the Big Woods. Kind of looks like fall. Could be spring because there's a robin. But the colors of the trees, I would say fall. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. There she is. And that's either Mary or her ma. Oh, it must be her ma because it looks like she's holding baby Carrie. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, and her baby sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog, Jack. So there they are in their cozy little home. And there's Jack. Laura, her mom, and Carrie, Mary, and Pa. Winter was coming to the big woods. Soon the little house would be covered with snow. Pa went hunting every day so that they would have meat during the long, cold winter. Well, looks like the trees are, everything's starting to turn brown. Starting to go into rest time for the winter. Laura, Ma, Laura, and Mary gathered potatoes and carrots, beets and turnips, cabbages and onions, Peppers and pumpkins from the garden next to the little house. Good thing they had aprons to use them to carry, huh? By the time winter came, the little house was full of good things to eat. Laura and Mary thought the attic was a lovely place to play. They played house by using the round orange pumpkins as tables and chairs, and everything was snug and cozy. Yep, look at all that food put up for the winter. Got to last five people all winter long in Wisconsin. Soon the first snow came and it was very cold. In the mornings, the windows were covered with beautiful frost windows with flowers and trees and fairies. Ma said Jack Frost had come in the night and made the pictures while everyone was asleep. Laura and Mary were allowed to use Ma's thimble to make pretty patterns of circles in the frost. Does look cozy. In the mornings, Laura and Mary helped Ma wash the dishes and make the beds. After this was done, Ma began the work that belonged to that day. Each day had its own proper work. Ma would say, wash on Monday, iron on Tuesday, mend on Wednesday, churn on Thursday, clean on Friday, bake on Saturday, rest on Sunday. Do you know what it means for them to churn? It means they are churning their own butter. They couldn't go to the store and buy it. They had to make it. Laura liked the churning and baking days best of all. Ma had to churn cream for a long time until it turned into butter. Mary some would sometimes churn while Ma rested, but Laura, Laura, Laura was too little. See the big churn? So they would make lots of butter. I've made butter before from cream, but not in a big old jug like that. That would take a long time and lots of work. On Saturdays when Ma made bread, Laura and Mary each had their own little piece of dough to make a little loaf. Ma even gave them bits of sugar co of cookie dough to make little cookies. That would be fun. I like to bake. After the day's work was done, Ma would sometimes cut out paper dolls for Laura and Mary. She drew their faces on with a pencil and cut dresses and hats and ribbons out of colored paper so that Mary and Laura could dress their dolls beautifully. I don't know if anyone ever plays with paper dolls anymore. It used to be a pretty neat thing to do. But the best time of all was at night when Pa and his ma Pa came home. He would throw off his fur cap and Cole and Mittens and call, Where's my half pint of sweet cider half drunk up? And that was Laura because she was so small. Sometimes Pa would take down his fiddle and sing. Pa would keep time with his foot. Laura and Mary would clap their hands to the music when he sang, Yankee Doodle went to town, he wore his striped trousers, swore he couldn't see the town, there were so many houses. All the smiles, looks like Jack's even howling a little bit with the song, Silly Dog. Other times, Pa would tell stories. When Laura and Mary begged him for a story, he would take them on his knees and tickle their faces with his long whiskers until they laughed out loud. His eyes were blue and merry. Oh, look at all the happiness. Outside it was cold and snowy, but the log cabin was snug and cozy. 
Pa, Ma, Laura, and Mary, and baby Carrie were comfortable and happy in their little house in the big woods. Is there one final picture? Sure, there's the house all snug in the winter. There you go. Winter days in the big woods. Well, thank you for coming to hear my story. I hope you come back and hear some more because there'll be more stories to share. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you're in someplace cold, I hope it's warm and cozy. And if you're someplace warm, I hope it's cool and nice. So 